Hello everyone. Google Wallet is one of the most popular applications out there. It's a payments application and in case you've never used it before, I'll show you exactly how to use it. Now number one, you can open up Google Wallet a few different ways. You can download the Google Wallet application, but then once you have it installed, you can open up the application like this by scrolling over and finding the Wallet app, or you can swipe down from the tile up here, swipe down one more time, and you'll be able to find the wallet quick tile and you can go ahead and open it up that way as well. Now within the application, there's a lot of really cool things, but the very first thing is that this is a card application. You can house and manage a lot of your credit cards, your other cards, gift cards sometimes as well. So the way this front page works is that any of the cards that you currently have, you'll see those cards come up here. You'll see some options down here, which will just give you some tips and tricks like within the wallet application but it's not really anything super insane that's super hard to understand. It's pretty self-explanatory. On the top right, you'll see a button, which if you click on it, it'll allow you to go ahead and modify some settings. You can change up your you know, Google account at the very top if you want to. You'll see wallet tips, payment setup if you want to add a payment setup, your payment methods, which are the different cards that you have, your password manager for your cards, and then some other options down here, including wallet settings. And within wallet settings, you can kind of modify and change up your settings within the wallet application. There's not anything super crazy here again. Hopping back out here, to add a credit card, it's actually a pretty basic process. So to get started, you can either add a payment card here, or you can add to wallet at the bottom. So either way, it's going to take you to the pretty much the exact same place, except add payment card will basically take you into the credit card option. But if you want to add a card, because there's so many other cards you can choose from, I'd recommend clicking on add to wallet at the first part. Now, at the very top portion, there's going to be a few things. Number one, right here, there's an option that says payment card. So what you can do is you can go through and click on payment card if you want to add a payment card, like a credit card or debit card or anything like that. I think mostly credit cards. So you can go through and scan your card this way. Or what you can also do is click on enter details manually. And this will allow you to go and enter your credit card details manually just like this. So that is an option that you have. You can also add in transit passes as well. So you can go through adding a transit pass. So if you have a you know a certain you know trains that pass or like a train pass or metro card, you can add those within here too. Your loyalty card, if you have any loyalty cards, you can add those here too, which is really cool. So you can go through and add those in, and there's a lot of different ones that are available here as well. And then you have gift cards. So you can go through and add a gift card if you have one from a different manufacturer. So there's a lot of different ones available. They even have apples here. It's interesting. They use Apple's old logo here, which is kind of interesting, but they have a lot of different options here as well. And then hopping back, you can even add an ID. If an ID is available in your area, you can go through and add your state ID here, which is really cool. Not specifically for America, but I'm sure those are going to be added to other areas. And then if you click on everything else, this is another area which allows you to go through and basically choose out you know, exactly what other type of pass that you want to go and build out. So if there's a different type of you know, pass that's available, you can add those here too. And that's another really cool thing that you have the option of having. So those are kind of the main things of basically how to use your Google Wallet application. There's not really anything else super crazy. Again, you have two different ways of opening up the app within the Wallet app itself and then swiping down and clicking the toggle at the very top. And I'd recommend going through and keeping the application up to date sometimes. So you can do that by just going into the Google Wallet app and then updating the application that way. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.